Boom. All right. What's up, YouTube squad? It's uh, Jacob here for another video. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to be demoing Float, which is one of Emerald City's latest products. So for those of you that don't know, Emerald City is a DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, that I founded about two months ago, maybe three months ago. Um, and the point of Emerald City is to educate the Flow community, to build amazing products for the Flow ecosystem, and to pave the way for DAOs on Flow. Um, now, one of the recent products that we were building was this uh, Float platform. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So what is Float? Well, Float is a, um, we can actually go to the About page here. Wow, look at that. It's a Flow-enabled proof of attendance platform. So basically, it's a way for you um, to reward your community or reward people for attending some sort of arbitrary event. Um, now, that can be anything you want. That could be a Twitter space, a Discord call, a YouTube live stream, literally anything um, where you want people to sort of, um, you know, have proof that they were there, that they did something. Now, an event doesn't really have to mean like a social event either. It can mean that they participated in some form in, in something. Um, so what that also means is, you know, you can give someone a float, um, which is basically like a token um for like doing some action so for example if you if you're leading an nft project and you're doing an nft drop um and you want to give a user a float which is like a mark of of, of proof that they did something for a for you know minting your nft in your transaction you can actually give them an nft for doing that so float i guess in one sentence is really just a way for you as an event host to give users um, some token of that, that they participated in some way. Now, if you've been in the blockchain space for some time now, or you've been on Ethereum, you'll know that this is pretty much what, what POAP is. If you've heard of the name POAP, um, POAP is like basically the, the proof of attendance on Ethereum, um, but we brought that to flow and uh, in my opinion, in a much cooler way. Um, so let's like walk through a little bit of what Float is. So you can configure and create your own Float events. So whether it be a Twitter space, a Discord call, YouTube live stream, or anything at all, you can create a Float event so participants can remember and have proof that they were there. So it's basically like a token that, that you attended, right? So you can cherish your favorite moments on Flow, claim Floats, and show them off as proof that you were there. Um, in addition, like I was mentioning earlier, you can reward users for taking certain actions that aren't maybe like a social event. So Floats can be configured to only be distributed by the creator. Um, so you can do this by selecting not claimable, whatever, we'll, we'll get into all this. And then, you know, I guess, why is it named Float? Well, it's because Flow Attendance, that's sort of the name, and it's developed by your best friends at Emerald City. Um, so if we go to the main page here, you know, you can toggle between light mode and dark mode, but, you know, as most, develops, most developers do, they always choose dark mode because their eyeballs are shooting out of their heads. Um, but we can go ahead and create an event here. Um, now, before we do that, let's actually look at what an event looks like. So let's, I'll come back to all this in a second. But this is what a float event looks like. So this is the first event ever created on, on this contract's testnet. Um, I'm, you know, we released uh, float about three hours ago, and so that's why I'm making this video. And this is the first event ever. Um, so it says Emerald City's first event, and we can even click this, and it'll take us to a, a, the URL that I put in, which is our Twitter page. Um, and then it says, you know, this is the ID of the event. It was created on this time. And it says, you have claimed this float because I've claimed it. So I already, I already did this. Um, and this is sort of like the preview of what the float looks like. So this is the, um, the image. This is the name created by this account and serial number zero. So woo woo, I have the first one ever get crapped on, LOL. Um, and then the description of it right here. So this is the description of the event. It says 203 people have minted. If we refresh this page, I wonder if it'll change. Um, nope, still 203, okay. And then it says, you have already claimed this float, so I've already claimed it. And then as the event host, I have the ability to pause the claiming, so people can't do it anymore, stop people from transferring um, them to each other, or delete this event, but I can't delete this event anymore because uh, people have already minted it, so it won't, it won't even let me do that. So uh, that that's that. All right, um, and if I wanted to, I could delete my float, but I'm not going to. So if we actually go to my account page, you'll see that under claimed floats, is uh, the float that I have. So I claimed this float with serial number zero um, from that event. And it also shows my event. So I created Emerald City's first event um, and it has an ID and that, that's what we were just visiting. So when I click on visit, that's, that's where we just were. Um, so that's that. 
Now, what you can also do is you can search for people's addresses. So if we wanted to, I mean, we can even like, let's, let's take my address right now and just go to the front page. We can search for my address. And of course, it's just going to take me to the same page, right? But that's all cool and all. Um, yeah, so let's go over creating an event. So if you want to create an event, um, we can do the event name. So the event name is um, uh, YouTube. Um, oh, so, the, okay, well, let, let's, let's actually do a cool thing. So let's say like watched YouTube video. Okay, um, watched uh, Jacob's, uh, okay, so Jacob's, let's name it Jacob's Float YouTube video. Let's make the event URL, um, oh, I wish I could do this, but let's actually go to my channel, I don't know, let's just go, let's just uh, go to my channel, um, and go, let's go to Jacob Tucker Flow, and let's just copy and paste my, like, uh, channel, Welcome whatever, right? Okay, this cool. Now let's copy uh, this into here, boom, and then let's make the event description, like, watched jacobs okay so you can claim this float if you watched jacobs um youtube video overviewing the float platform cool and then let's go ahead and choose an image uh let's actually you know what i kind of want to do um let's look at youtube uh picture uh, why did it look up that what all oh, right is it like youtube logo i probably should look that up right youtube is this transparent no. YouTube logo. I can't spell. Wow. Um, well, this looks good, right? So let's save this image as YouTube logo. Okay, and then I'll upload this as the image. So this will be the event image, YouTube logo. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that one looks good. Okay, cool. So we upload the YouTube uh, logo, and then you look at it. So here's the preview of the float. It has the event name, which is Jacob's Float YouTube video. Um, or let's just say Jacob's YouTube. Let's just name it Jacob's YouTube video, right? Um, and then the event URL, so we'll be able to click this, and then the description, and then the file, and it shows you a little preview of what it looks like. And so then there's some options. So these options we can choose from. So um, if we mark it as transferable, that means the users can transfer their floats to each other. So let's, okay, sure, let's go ahead and allow, whatever, they can make it transferable. Claimable. So claimable means that um, users can actually go to this page and click claim. Now, if it's not claimable, what that means is that you can give floats to people in your own transactions, but users won't be able to claim it on their own. So they won't be able to come to this web interface and claim the float. Um, that you as the host will only be able to distribute it yourself. So that's what not claimable means. And if you actually click on not claimable, it shows you some example transaction code that you can run. Um, it sets it up all for you to distribute um, the uh, the float to that user. It literally sets it all up for you. Um, and then it shows you that you can do some other action here. So like if you if this is a transaction where the user is minting your NFT and you want to give them a float for doing that, you can follow this transaction code to do that and then you're, you're good to go. But we want to make it claimable. We'll make it unlimited quantity. We'll say it's unlimited time limit, but otherwise you, you could specify like a time limit here if you wanted to, but we're not going to. Um, it's, it's, you know, you could also specify like a limit. So if you only want like a hundred people to claim it, you can do that too. Um, and then you can also specify a secret code. So I'm going to specify a secret code that is, um, let's name it, let's do, do tiger. I don't know. I just randomly thought of a tiger. So if you type in tiger, remember that you'll be able to claim this. Okay. So, so let's remember that. And then let's go ahead and create the float. So let's create the float and it's going to do this little like transaction stuff here. You can sign it with block do and then uh it'll come back here and you can actually view the transaction going on on flow scan if you want to but uh so it's, it's just gonna wait a little bit and then it will be able to do it so okay it looks like it's going through and uh once it goes through it'll say sealed boom event created successfully woohoo and then we can actually go to your account and you can see oh look i have another event here so this is jacob's youtube video um and if we click on visit It'll say the zero have been minted, and that's why I can delete this event if I wanted to. But as soon as I mint, I can't delete it anymore. Um, but Jacob's YouTube video, and then if we actually click on this, look, it'll actually take you to your to, to my YouTube video, which is pretty cool. Um, and then it says you can claim this flow if you watch Jacob's YouTube video overviewing the flow platform. And the secret code is Tiger. So if we type in Tiger and click on claim this float, let's wait a little bit. Let's click approve. And it's currently pending. And after... Um, Oh, and also one cool thing, by the way, is that it'll show you in this preview which one you're claiming. So you see it shows me number zero. That's because I'm claiming number zero right now. And it says float claim successfully. So if I refresh this page, 
and it'll say you claim this float uh, i have number zero and i can delete it if i want to and it says one have been minted boom i have this float now and if i actually go to my page you'll see i have this claim float now which is super cool woohoo so that's all cool right um now one more thing i really want to just like drive home is that this is for anything you want right so if you have a twitter space and you want to give people um you know a a a, a mark of like you were here for your twitter space you would do you know the event name the url the description you could make a time limit if you want to all that kind of stuff but what you can also do is i really want to drive this home that float is not only just for people to claim on the web ui it's also for you to get out to people specifically in a transaction so once again, if if people you know participate in your token drop or whatever it is, you can add, if you're well versed in Cadence, you can actually distribute the float in Cadence as well, which is a lot different from Poap, which is what I think is super cool. So that's sort of an overview of Float. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, it's like I said, it's created by your friends at Emerald City, and um, that's that. So I'm I look forward to seeing if anyone claims this uh, this YouTube float. That'd be pretty funny. Um, but that's about it. So uh, I'll I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.